Hello all, welcome to BASP self-learning series. Today I am going to show you uh, how to write a complex query in Cognon Report Studio. In order to uh, make it easy to understand, I am going to take one example and this example we are going to solve using Report Studio. So the requirement is something like this. We need to display all the employee details. Uh, I would underline them. Employee personal details and their manager and their one over manager. Manager and his manager where employee expenses are above or above average expenses of all the employees. There may be multiple ways to solve this problem. Uh, the preferred solution is you, could, you should create one query subject in your framework manager and use this query as your source. However, in many, many of time it, it may not be feasible to modify your framework manager. Many of time as a report developer you do not have direct access to framework manager to modify it there may be a cascade impact to the same. So in today's session I am going to show you how to use this query uh, as a source in order to design a report in your report studio. So if you look at this query carefully the query is desired, divided into multiple pieces. We'll see one part of the query at a time. So we need to find out list of all the employees where expenses is greater than the average expense of all the employees. So if you see the first part of my query this first part of the query display uh, every expense of all the employees. When I see the second part of the query, which is superset of it, list of all the employee, employee details, employee keys are being shown where expenses are greater than the average expense of all the employees. So here you find the list of all the employee keys. However, in my requirement, I need to display the employee personal details, employee name, first name, the employee details, and total expenses. So the output of this query, which is employee key, become the input for my external query. Now if you look at carefully, in the where clause, where employee key in, the output of inner query become input for my outer query. So we are going to display employee name, first name, last name, their manager name, and the total expenses where employee key is or in the output of inner query. Now, once you tested your query, the next step, is to put this, use this query as your source. Copy this query and I'm going to use this query as my source in my report studio. I'm going to design a new report over here. I create a list report and I go to my query explorer. You see there's an option called under insertable object. You have got SQL query. SQL option drag and on place over here. This arrow shows the, in, the output of this query become the input for my query section. So you need to set two properties only. Set the data source. In my case data source is great outdoors warehouse is by data source and the second part of this query you need to specify query section. Click on these three dots and copy and paste this query. There are two options. You can validate the query. The validation of the query ensure there is no syntactical error in your query and click on OK. If you have any syntax error, it will pop up over there itself. Now the output of this query will some set of columns. The query would render three columns. Employee first name, last name, manager, first level manager and second level manager. There would be four columns for this query output. So I can go to my query section, my page explorer and I can simply drag and drop my all objects. Query, you run it and test it. The query is working, working fine. And final test, what we do, we'll go to our query section and see the query which Cognos render. So if you see my query, my uh, Cognos had rendered the exactly same query. What I copy paste over here, it just made an alias of my whole query. So this way, you can write any complex query in your report studio without modifying your framework manager. The only flaw with this approach. In case you underline metadata got changed, this require human intervention. You need to modify this query manually. So depends upon the scenario. In case you have access to framework manager, preferably modify your framework manager. Therefore, this query is globally available for all the reports. However, if you have an ad hoc reporting requirement and you were asked to design report quickly, take the query as a source and directly put into your report studio could be a preferred solution. So, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching our uh, Cogno self-learning material video. For in order to access more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
www.bsptrainings.com and www.bsptsolution.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead.